Hi, I am Camellia and I am an integrated sp uh, PhD student at CHEP and uh, I wish everyone a very happy International Women's Day. Uh, so yeah, as a, as a researcher in IASC as an, and in CHEP, I would say that it is a very supportive environment and uh, I find uh, the professors, the uh, staff and the other colleagues, they are very uh, supportive and I have never felt any kind of uh, discrimination. However, uh, I mean, they, uh, there are uh, cases, uh, I mean, uh, there are cases where people do, uh, people are still discriminated on uh, based of gen on ba uh, based on their gender. So, uh, to address that, I think it's uh, more of a sociological issue and uh, the way academia can respond to it is by uh, creating safe spaces for women and making the work environment more uh, inclusive. And uh, so, uh, and uh, the question, uh, so the question of uh, why the uh, gender issue, the why the gender issue in many STEM fields is uh, still disbalanced after so many years, uh, is a very, uh, uh, I mean, it's a very deep question and that requires a, a study, thorough study at a sociological level. So uh, we we should ask questions like where is the uh, dropout exactly happening and is the schools are the schools providing enough uh, opportunities and exposure to the young women and especially in science fields so that needs to be worked on a, a societal level and uh, as far as the department goes I think uh, it's important that uh, uh, it is Im uh, important that we uh, work equally well in the policy level as well. So uh, to make uh, the work environment uh, more inclusive, for example, we can uh, have the conversation of period leaves. We can have a con conversation of including more childcare facilities so that women who have families can come and work. So uh, that conversation needs to be put on the table, where, and uh, the pros and cons should be studied in detail. And the aim is to uh, to uh, make the environment a, a safe space and an inclusive and di diverse space for everybody. So that's all from my side.